Well guys, it's been months and months of doom and gloom, but we finally have some good news regarding inflation. What's up guys, it's Casey McEwen back again with just a quick video for you guys due to the news that came out this morning regarding inflation. And I can tell you, I myself have no economic experience whatsoever. I do not have a degree in economics. Five years ago or five and a half years ago, I was still teaching high school before I got into real estate. So this has been a lot of learning when it comes to economics and understanding inflation rates and just understanding the economy as a whole. But what I can tell you is the last few months, probably the last three to four months, inflation has not performed or dropped to really where we have wanted it to be. Just to break it down for you guys, the Consumer Price Index or CPI is a broad-based measure of goods and services costs. That increased 0.4% for the month and 7.7% from a year ago. Respective estimates, meaning otherwise what they expected these to rise to was about 7.9%, so it actually performed better at 7.7% and 0.6% increase, which again, it performed better with only a 0.4 increase. For those folks that have no economics experience, such as myself, I do not have a degree in economics and I certainly have not studied it a bunch. I can tell you the last couple of years has been a lot of learning just to truly understand what has happened. Now, back in 2020, we all are aware of what happened. Ton of businesses shut down. No one was increasing prices. If anything, people were lowering prices to get people to purchase items and goods. But the US government decided to print a bunch of additional money for stimulus checks, as well as helping small businesses out. And this obviously created a bunch of additional income to be able to spend on goods or services, which is why you start to see a substantial increase in inflation. All the way to about middle of 2022, the summer of 2022, where inflation peaked and we are starting to see a pretty good downfall again, down to 7.7%. Now, in order to combat inflation, what the Fed has decided to do is essentially do a periodic amount of interest rate hikes. Now, interest rate hikes, obviously, as you've seen with mortgage rates or car interest rates, or even your credit card interest rates or small private loans, all of those have been substantially more expensive to be able to pull out money. And that's what the Fed doing these rate hikes. Now, obviously, the long term goal is to slow down these Fed rate hikes. Now I can tell you these Fed rate hikes are not a direct correlation to mortgage interest rates. For instance, the Fed decides to hike up rates, you're not going to see a jump in interest rates. More or less what you're going to see is kind of what you've seen today, where based on expectations is truly where mortgage rates are going to lie. Also based on expectations is where inflation is going to rise or lower. So again, because of what was expected actually turned out to be better, you've seen probably if you have any retirement account, SEP IRA, Roth IRA today on November 10th, Thursday, you've seen a substantial gain. Now the Dow went up substantially, almost 800 points this morning. You can see a huge hike up in your retirement accounts or your stock accounts. Now on top of that, it hasn't came out yet, but just talking to my lenders, you're gonna see a substantial drop, maybe down into the high sixes when we're talking about mortgage interest rates. Now, what we really need to see, and this is also going to help us with the fact that inflation is actually going down faster than expected based on October numbers. If this again does come out in December and performs better from the November expectations, I could likely see 5% interest rates in 2023. Now, the biggest thing here is inflation did rise incredibly fast in 2020 and 2021. More than likely, we are not gonna see a steep decline unless we decide to shut down the economy as a whole. And you've seen what that does to an economy, so that will likely never happen again. So we're gonna see a slow drop down to hopefully back to that two, three, four percent inflation rate. But right now we are at a solid 7.7%, again, better than expected, which was 7.9. Now the nice thing about the consumer price index is this is going to be a direct tail as far as how the stock market is going to produce or how your mortgage rates or maybe your automobile interest rates are going to lie. Now, me, myself, I have a property that was supposed to close in November. It's looking to likely close in January. And I'm enthused with the fact that we're actually pushing the closing date because it is a new build and not completed yet. It's pushing it back to about January. My hope is in December, we're gonna to continue to hear great news that we just heard this morning with interest rates continuing to fall. Cause right now I can tell you, I'm sitting at about 7.5 or 7.75% on an investment property or a secondary home. But what I can tell you is I would love that mortgage interest rate to fall as much as possible leading up to my closing. 
So to tie all this up, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of about a month ago when we got news that inflation was at 8.2%. This was actually not as good as expected. Now the news from October was regarding the previous month in September. Beginning of November, now we've got the news regarding October. We were expected to drop from 8.2% to 7.9%, but again, did better than expected at 7.7%. Now just doing some quick math, that is about half a percent sitting at 7.7%. We need to get down to about two to 3% would be great. So you can see on a good month, inflation lowering by half a percent is a substantial drop. So it's still gonna take quite some time and a good amount into 2023 before we get inflation settled for good. Thanks again for watching guys. Hopefully this gives you guys a quick update on the news that came out this morning. Again, great news. It means your stock market is up, your interest rates are down, and we can look forward to the next month hoping for continuous good news that we've gotten today. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help. And stay tuned for the next video.